Do you see this camera set up? Look at this. What is that? What is, this is like unnecessary. Oh. This is like unnecessarily intimate. I feel like I need to offer you guys tea or something. This is weird. Anyways, there are a lot of moments in my life where I sit down and I think, how did I get here? Why am I here? How am I? I'm literally about to shave my head right now. I hate it. Oh my god, anyways. Um, you know, what What happened? How did we... We skipped a few steps because we went from point A and all of a sudden, like, point B is, like, me at a coming out party. Like, what happened? And I just wanted to say that there will be, you know, just like in life moments in your HOCD journey where you will um, have a lot of accidental exposures that will make you pee yourself. And you will have to <laughs> just laugh and move on. But this one, no, 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 no. No, I'm swaying just thinking about it. It was... It was the ultimate exposure. I had been invited to this birthday party and I didn't really know um, the girl that well at the time. I was just like, yeah, I'll come to your birthday party. Um, like, who cares? Whatever. And I don't know if it was like a month or a couple of months went by. I don't... Time time happened and time passed and all of a sudden I you know I'm at her party and my mom's like oh is this a dress-up party like why are they dressed as um why are they dressed up and I'm like I couldn't tell you that I, I don't really know I was kind of confused I was wearing a dress though so I was like whatever and I just set my purse down in a chair and I was like hey um, there were probably 10 other girls there, I think, maybe more, um, I don't know, there was just a lot more than I thought, right? So I'm walking in there, and I'm with my best friend, she's probably gonna watch this, and she's gonna be like, why are you bringing me into this? For fun. For fun. And I just noticed everyone was kind of, like, coupled up, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, okay, so everyone has their, like, best friends. Like, yes, we're getting together. Yay! So I kind of get closer with my friend because I think that, you know, maybe we're going to play a game or something and, like, we need, like, a partner. I don't know. I, I wasn't thinking. No thinking was involved. No logical thinking was involved, at least. I was just, like, I don't know. I don't even know. I was just, you know, there to have fun, I guess. So anyways... They're starting to, like, do their makeup, and I'm, like, just observing. That's kind of what I do at parties. I'm just, like, there, and I'm just kind of, like, people watch, and I'm kind of, like, what are you doing? And I, and I'm, I, I, yeah, I look over, and I'm, like, I don't know if that's how I would put makeup on my best friend I don't know if that's how I would put that on her because they were getting they sure were getting in there <laughs> and I was just like oh my god you know I had super bad now I would be like whatever but back then I had super bad um HOCD at the time and I was like freaking out internally because I had never been you know because when you're doing ERP you're like in control of you know, when you get exposed and how you get exposed, um, with, um, and obviously you're not con in control of the anxiety, that's what is, that's the whole point of ERP is to, you know, make you feel that anxiety that you're not in control. But anyways, this was an exposure that I sure as hell was not in control of. And I just remember sitting there and being like, what? Because I was kind of putting the pieces together then, but... It 
does in fact get worse. So we go to her bedroom and I'm like, oh, everything is like rainbow themed. Like I like rainbows. And I was just kind of pondering on that. And then it kind of hit me and I was like, oh my God. And then she was like, oh no, I can't say what she said because I'll just give it away. Like if anyone that knows me watches this video, they'll know exactly who I'm talking about. So I cannot say that, but anywho, um, and I was like, oh, what? And I, I was like, this is your birthday, right? And I, I don't know, I was just confused. And then I'm sure you're confused watching this. It's like, how is this even going to turn into a coming out party? You will see. I, yeah, so I was like, whatever. I get out at nine. I get out at nine. Like, I'm getting off a work shift. I, it felt like work, just being there and being exposed to all of that. Um, when you have HSCD, obviously, if you don't have HSCD, it's fine. But whatever. I was just sitting there panicking. And then um, I was like, whatever. I'm, you know, here until 10. I said here until 9, but I meant here until 10. Um, so I'm just going to have to, you know, chill out a little bit and sit with the anxiety. And that's basically what I did. Um, which helped, by the way, and just talk to my friend. So I was sitting there, um, we actually ended up having a bonfire. So we were sitting by the bonfire and it was kind of dark out. And I, this is me. This is me at the bonfire, right? This is the bonfire. Oh my God, that's hot. Look at this. I didn't sniff the bonfire. Anyways, I, I was like this. No. Hold on. Am I seeing this right? Yes. So I saw these two girls. <laughs> um. Yeah, anyway, so that was my exposure. And um, I was just kind of sitting there like, okay? How did I get here and why me? And why did I have to manifest this? And if you watched my HOCD and manifestation video and you understand that concept, um, I directly manifested that for myself and it's so hilarious now because you should have seen my face. I was like so disoriented. I was like, what is going on? And you know, when you're constantly thinking about stuff like that and you have intrusive thoughts about, um, just anything, I had intrusive thoughts about anything and everything then, um, that's pretty, pretty terrifying now. Of course it's hilarious now that I've recovered, but like, then I was like, oh my God, get me out of here so I'm I'm like oh god and they're like okay pickup change is to nine o'clock and I'm like nine o'clock that's an hour earlier my mom is late to everything so I was like oh god and that was I have an iPhone 7 now um I went I don't know why I did that whatever stupid anyways and I didn't have cellular data then so I had to use this girl's hotspot I love I don't even know her but I love you if you're watching, I love you. She handed me her hotspot. And I texted my mom. I was like, for some reason they changed the pickup to nine. Um, whatever, you're going to have to pick me up. Um, or can you? You're going to have to. I'm just like demanding now. I was like, can you like pick me up an hour earlier? Because I knew she was um, either running errands or at my grandpa's house. And she was out running errands. And it took her forever to get there. And it gets worse. So I'm standing there, like, just waiting for her to get there. Everyone's moms, obviously, come there. And my friend is like, Martha, like, do you need to ride? I'm like, no, you're fine. Like, you, you came, like, you, you're fine, okay? You're fine. So whatever. I, you know, watched everyone leave. I was just kind of sitting there thinking, you know what? If she's 15 minutes late, it's fine. She was an hour late. And what made it worse is that they apparently had a sleepover, a special sleepover that I was not invited to for whatever reason. I couldn't possibly think of why I was not invited to that. Anyways, I, <laughs> I was like, okay, but they were, I didn't, it didn't register until like two minutes later. I'm like, oh, they're really trying to get me to leave because they had the sleepover and they had to go to like a separate 
Oh, that's going to give it way too much away. Never mind. Um, yeah, and they want to get me out of there. And I was like panicking even more because I had just gone through that and now they want to seriously get rid of me. So now I feel guilty because I'm holding them up. So I'm like, oh God. So I'm calling my mom. She, of course, she, she never answers. So she's not answering. I'm just kind of sitting there like awkwardly dilly dallying. And uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I'm just kind of sitting there alone. My friend's gone. I'm just uh, traumatized. I finally see this car pull up and it's my uncle, but I thought I was expecting my mom. So I saw his car, I was like, that's not my car, that's not my car. And I was kind of like in this like panicky mode because I was in that mode all night. And then he was like, no, it's me. And I was like, thank God. I was like, oh my God, I like hopped in there. I did a somersault. I was like, fireworks were going off. Like I was so ready to get out of there. And he was like, so how did it go, Manny? And I was like, gay. Okay. 